Hey there, Jamie here. And if you're new here, I'm so glad to have you. And if you're not, welcome back. And I just want to take you and let you see a couple of things that I found the other day when I was weeding with my mom. This accidentally got pulled out. And I think they're ready. This is the elephant garlic. And I'm sure they can get bigger than this, but I'm pretty sure they're ready. So let's go check it out. I need to see if sister can send me the picture she got this morning of all of them. Becky, the chicken, actually had all her chicks in a row up there. And it was just so cute how they were all sitting up there together. Good morning, Leo! What is that? Did y'all see it? Anyway, I'll show you a couple of things right here before I take you out there. And I think some of these are almost done. Y'all don't mind how I look? I had a long, hard, hot day at work. But I'm still here in the garden. So let me show you this. Getting holes. That tells me we're about coming to the end. Ooh, and I don't want this in the bed. That needs to come out. We're getting holes. Ridge. I can't really see what they are. Little bitty tiny dots. Might be the cabbage worm eggs. But that tells me I am about to the end of some of these leafy greens. Look at that little stinker, literally. Get out of there. So, I'm going to go through and grab some of this as well. A lot of the regular kale looks fine. I need to move this out the way. Problem with stacking your stuff on your beds. But... Let's see. Okay, yeah, they're really tearing up the Swiss char, whatever it is. And I don't see anything aside from that stink bug. This is more caterpillar type damage. So, we shall see if I can find anybody. But I'm going to take some of these. This type time of year, I'm not going to worry about chopping it and freezing the kale right now I have just been taking what I can get and running batches in the freeze dryer and then I'll blitz it all up and make a green powder that I can add to things and we'll see what we can salvage out of this and it might just be ready to be pulled I will still chop and freeze this because I didn't get enough plants started to make a full meal and oh lord my mosquitoes hold on all right i put a light coating of some natural bug repellent on because for one i hate the way it feels but yeah let's get some of this harvested because i have got to have my stock of collards as most southerners would say as well and I'm just ripping them off by hand and making a little stack. Let's see what we can find. Not much. Not much to tell me what's doing it on these. The other one definitely looks like some sort of caterpillar worm, etc. I'm going to just quickly go around these plants and get the biggest leaves. And it's really neat how these grow. They grow just like the, call, um, the kale. And they'll just keep growing up as you pick them. Oh, look. That one's doing like the kale, growing a leaf on a leaf. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it before um, in the description. It's pretty neat. We've been finding plants that have leaves growing on leaves. And there, look at this. That's a sad, sad little kale that didn't get caught up. 
I think I'll pluck some from the for the chickens as well. And I've got one more plant. Let me go ahead and go around, run around and do that. Okay, I see a lot more damage underneath on some of these lower leaves. Definitely worms, I believe. The probably the cabbage moth and caterpillar. But I don't see too much going on on these leaves. Oh. There's some eggs there. So, if I don't get these off tonight, they probably won't be here tomorrow. And some of these are going to go to the chickens and some of these will be cleaned and processed for us. And I will just have to grow a whole bunch more in the fall. I kept having to re -sew because when I'm supposed to be sewing these things, I'm usually on vacation, so that kind of puts me behind a little bit. I think I'm going to take that one too. I really am trying to keep myself from taking them all. I feel like it might be a now or never situation with these. What do you think? Maybe one more day, let these leaves get a little bit bigger. And if they're still tore up, then I'm going to just go through and take it all. Probably the same thing with these. But look, these have been lovely. Both the red Russian and the regular kale. They don't have any. Oh, maybe that one has a little bit. So I'm going to dig around in here and see if I can find, find anything else and get the food for some chickies real quick while I'm here found the culprit. And that right there is what's causing all that damage. And all these plants. I'm sure there's been multiple, but he's going to go out in the grass and he won't be able to find his way back to this area. He'll have to find something else to eat. But I have decided I'm going to go through here since the race is on and get me some more kale to put in the dehydrator tonight. And I work for a little bit tomorrow so maybe if they're done I can run out here. I don't know how much. I'll see if that fits my drawers. Should I leave these or take them for the chickens? I feel like they're pretty much spent. So the cheeky cheeky babies can have them. I just feel like it's also another option for the buggies to eat instead of my good leaves. So many decisions to make. And all this Swiss char. Like that's a whole lot of food. But it's going to the chickens. They'll enjoy it. Because that's like a big chomp out of it. But anyway, I'll take you over and show you what I have going on in just a minute. Not too bad. Found some pickles. Sister likes these small pickles. So we'll bring those in for her. All of those are decent collards. And I just grabbed a bundle to go in the dehydrator. So all in all, unplanned harvest again. And on to the next bit. Well, on my way, I'm distracted again. I think these are my favorite glads. Just absolutely lovely. Like a sunrise. Just need some ocean blue ones. And these, and I'd have a lovely little beach theme going on. Anyway. Okay, so I did kind of a crappy job labeling where one ends and one begins because I have regular garlic over there somewhere and at some point my elephant garlic starts. So we're just going to have to wing it. And I know my chickens, well sister's chickens, kicked up some of these so I do not know how good these are going to be. We now have two. 
that look decent I'm kind of scared to pull that one let's see another one yeah look at that that ain't that great but show me that other one look I just pulled this one up too so some are doing great and some not so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll chop it up and use it like green garlic. Let's see if there's any other ones that look better. I'm going to just dig low and check them. Look at that. That one's about the same as the one I just pulled. And it's got bottom two leaves. So I wonder why some are maturing faster than others so we're just gonna leave them so that's just part of gardening sometimes you have to pull a couple of things up to see if it's ready to harvest <coughs> excuse me and other times you just can tell when it's ready to harvest so I will leave these in ground for a little bit longer like I've said in my other videos I don't think the other garlic the regular garlic I have is going to do very good here I don't think it's the right kind which I should have looked, but we're getting tore up by mosquitoes. So, <laughs> it's really bad. And it hasn't even been raining. We're going to have to figure out some mosquito help out here. If you have any ideas and tips for that that aren't like full chemical craziness, then let me know. Anyway, I'm going to take what I have harvested in, get it all cleaned up and sorted out. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of the evening with my family. And oh, oh, these mosquitoes are about to carry me off. Anyway, like, subscribe, share with somebody who might enjoy this kind of video content. And let me know if you have um, mosquito repellent things. I've got all kinds of plants planted out here that do not help because uh, we have Texas-sized mosquitoes. Anyway. Thanks for spending time with me. Love you. Bye-bye.